Okay, good morning guys. It's Sunday morning and I am getting ready to head off to my dad's and I thought I would come on quick and just show you um, part of the meal prep that I'm doing this week. So I'm going to try and tilt you down a bit here without dropping the camera. All right, so I have a head of cauliflower in the fridge that uh, even in the fridge smarts, I think it's probably hitting its last legs. So we're going to chop that into bite-sized pieces, getting rid of any hard stems or any dark discoloration because you know, it's not pretty. All right, so that's our cauliflower. And yes, I didn't quite do a head of cauliflower. I pretty chopped it. So here's my head of cauliflower. I am going to pop that into, pop the lid on it and pop it into the microwave for roughly about eight minutes. So I just want it to be semi-cooked, six to eight minutes. So let's pop it on for six minutes and let's see what it looks like when it comes back. Okay guys, out of the microwave we come. So I, Put this on for six minutes, tested it. It wasn't fork tender. So I put it on for another four. It is now fork tender. So cauliflower is fork tender. It's not cooked to mush. It's not, um, so I'm gonna season it up a bit first. We're gonna add some butter. And I don't wanna break up the pieces too much because I do want it to resemble somewhat um, your macaroni or um, yeah because we're making a cauliflower mac and cheese so you do want it somewhat chunky all right so I put about a tablespoon a tablespoon and a half of butter in there I'm going to season it with our herb garlic sea salt So we got that in there and we're going to use our leftover queso blanco from last night so like i said this didn't thicken up as well last night as i wanted it to uh, but it's nice and thick this morning so after it cooled down it's gotten nice and thick so we're going to use all of it in this recipe because this is a whole head of cauliflower and we want to use up this queso blanco. All right, so if you remember from last night, if you watched last night's video, there is some pizza seasoning in the queso blanco. So it's going to give it a little bit more, a little bit of uh, maybe an Italian pizza flavor. So, hey, can't go wrong with that. All right, now if this wasn't soupy enough or if it wasn't enough, you could add some additional milk or some additional cheese. When I go to cook this, I am going to top it with some, maybe some Parmesan cheese over the top, um, just to bake it off and get a crispy, crunchy coating on the top. Um, just throwing that all over the place now. All right, so. Quick and now all I have to do with this is wait for it to cool down, pop the lid on it, put it in the fridge, and then on Monday, we're going to bake this off in the oven and we're going to have a beautiful queso blanco macaroni and cheese. All right, guys, stay tuned. We're going to bake that off on Monday.